Hi everyone, my name is Francisco Hernandez, product specialist for screw feeders, and in this video I'm gonna talk to you about connections for our fixture feeder. So let's jump into it. So first, let's talk about the air intake from the plant to the feeder, that is this blue hose. We can have from four up to six bar on the internals of the feeder to control when we're blowing the screw and the displacement of the bit stroke, head stroke unit. Next one are these three cables the black hose, our screw hose for the fixture titanium module, and this black cable. These two cables go together into our valve control unit to do all the logics from pneumatics for the bit stroke. Speaking about the fixture titanium module, we have these two hoses connected to the valve control unit to perform the operation of the bit stroke displacement. Then we have inductive sensors, present sensors, or optionals like analog depth sensors that are also connected into the valve control unit to acknowledge the operation like the displacement of the bit stroke, the screw received on the hose, and finally depth measurement to make sure that the operation was done correctly like an additional checking. Then we have the hose that is blowing the screw connected to the step feeder to move forward to see the next connection. That is this ethernet cable connected to our PLC to manage the entire logics and operation from the PLC to the feeder. Everything in the tasks that the feeder is doing is being controlled by the PLC from blowing the screw, moving the bit stroke, confirming the fastening, additionals like the analog depth measurement are being controlled by the PLC. Next to it, we have the power cable for 115 volts, 60 hertz. And finally, we have this connection for 24 volts that are the output for, from our Power Focus 6000. So this has been a quick connection guide for our fixture screw feeder. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please contact your local Atlas Copper representative. Thank you. Mm -hmm.